As always, the Royal New Zealand Air Force put on a great series of displays for the crowd throughout Easter weekend, both on the ground and in the air. First up on a dark and wet morning was the heavy metal flyby of the Boeing 757 and P3K Orion aircraft. The Air Force's two 757s were purchased in 2003 to replace the ageing Boeing 727s, previously operated by No. 40 Squadron. The 757s are used in a VIP and personnel transport role around the globe. Despite the fact that these aircraft are essentially civilian airliners, in the hands of an experienced military crew, they can still put on an impressive air show display. The RNZAF's Lockheed P-3 Orion aircraft are operated by No. 5 Squadron based in Auckland. Five Squadron is New Zealand's only maritime patrol unit and its area of operations ranges from the Antarctic through to the equator. carries a crew of 11 and with two engines shut down to conserve fuel can remain airborne for 15 hours. thumping sound of an approaching Iroquois, or Huey as they're commonly called, is always a favourite with air show patrons. As usual, this year's crowd was treated to a great display by an Iroquois from Number 3 Squadron. The Air Force currently operates 14 Iroquois, with the first ones having been delivered in 1966. At least 10 other aircraft of the type are also operating in New Zealand in a civilian capacity. To the relief of many people in New Zealand's rugged terrain, the Iroquois is often used for civilian search and rescue operations as well. Next up from the RNZAF are the Red Checkers aerobatic display team, flying the New Zealand designed and built CT4 air trainer. After the Second World War, the RNZAF flew display aerobatics in both the de Havilland Vampires and Harvards. But it wasn't until 1967 
that the team was officially called the Red Checkers. When the original CT4B models were replaced with the more powerful E models in 1998, the earlier aircraft passed into civilian ownership, and most are now based in Australia. Both the Royal Thai Air Force and the Royal Australian Air Force also use the CT-4. British Aerospace and ANSID Australia have also used the type for pilot training. While normally only seating two crew members, the CT-4 can be fitted with a third seat if required. The volunteer team of staff from the Central Flying School spend much of their spare time practicing their routines, which is evident in the great display put on at this year's show.